Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use the Gantt uh, view in Airtable. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to enter Airtable and your project under uh, the views, you're going to find the create here and you want to easily create click here on plus Gantt view. Here you can also add the name of your Gantt view and who can edit if it's going to be collaborative or personal, then create new view. Now we just wait until it loads. And now choose date fields. To get started, choose the start and end date fields for this Gantt view. So let's say I have the start date and then you have the end date field. Of course, what you can do, you can easily create a new field and you can then choose that. Choose a link record field for specifying dependencies. And if you don't have any dependency, you can create a new dependencies, right? So you see dependencies, predecessor, continue, continue, setup complete, right? So what I can do simply is like, you can add a new task, you're going to find, okay, what you can find here. On left side, you're going to find the records. You can like hide record list. Then you can simply move the record list where you want. You can make it longer. Now you can always create a new record. Uh, so when you would come here and add, like take on my mouse one and just move it somewhere. And here you're going to find a label for new record. So let's say it's going to be a YouTube video and I can have the predecessors so I can link it. So let's say Q4, right? And then successors, let's say it's going to be updated sales process. Or let's say it's going to be a marketing discussion. Now you see right here that you have the predecessor, predecessor which is be, uh, like before, but we see that marketing discussion is also before, but it starts before YouTube video ends. So I need to like save it. And what we can find here, right? So when I go move and it got the wrong one dependency, so I can simply move it here. And now we got it. So first we got the Qui for product launch. Then we have the YouTube video. The, this is the predecessor and this is the successor. So you can always click on whatever task you have. And here, let's say Qui for product launch. The predecessor is going to be the new brand identity. And you see right here that, oh my God, it's again, we need to move it. So uh, it can be like successful. So this is how we can do it. And this is how we can also work with dependencies in Airtable. You can export the PDF here. You're going to change the date rate to weekly, two weeks, month, quarter, even a year or five year window. You have option to go directly to the day. So let's say that you're going to move somewhere like here. I'm going to click today and voila, here you got it. So this is something what you can do. You can also go forward one year, back one year. That's pretty cool. And now uh, what you can do is also you can choose the color. So you can select a field, how it's going to be, uh, how it's going to, what kind of colors it's going to have. So we can change the coloring records by priority. So which are high. So let's say I can choose this one, the task, and you can't actually edit the task here. So I need to go to all projects, YouTube video and change the priority, let's say low, right? And when I go back to Gantt, I can see it's already changed the color. So this is something that you can do and which is also pretty effective. You can always group it by status if you want, or you can group it by again, priority. And you see right here, so this is the first one. And you're always going to find like when you're going to group it by status, it's going to change. So I have the backlog in progress and empty. So this is the empty one and this is the backlog and this is the in progress. You're going to also see how it well it depends uh, one, on one to another. 
So, and that's what it can do and that's how it works. And that's how you can manage it. So again, you can group it, change the color. You can then create simple a task like here, a record. I can label for new court, YouTube, business video, start ends. And then let's say I can have a predecessor, which is going to be quick for lunch, right? Then I can link to a different record update sales process. So we can have like multiple predecessors and it can start until the, uh, before it's finished. This is really great. Also, let's say you have programmators and you can start uh, designing something when you don't have like idea, like how it's going to be. So the designers are waiting until uh, like idea makers are going to create an idea how it what kind of game it should be. And now I can click save and look how it's going to look like. So it's in empty right now. But you see the predecessors here and we can easily, I can even move it here like where I need. And you can also again group it by priority or group it by here by priority. So that's something you can do. And that's how pretty much it works. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions, let me down below in the comments. You're always going to find the dependencies right here in air table. So, yeah, thank you very much guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. You know how it goes, you know how it is. And have a great day and goodbye.